How to Watch a Learning Video for Mastery We all watch videos, TV shows, or movies. Thanks to the internet, you can now learn almost everything, anytime you want. Many schools and companies are having their students and employees watch YouTube videos or online courses to learn new skills, concepts, procedures, and so on. We all watch videos, but do you really know how to watch a learning video to gain mastery? Well, it's not like watching a TikTok short, a Mr. Beast video, or your favorite Netflix show. I'm going to show you how to really master any video you watch like a pro. Are you ready? Let's go. Step 1. Prime your mind. First of all, you don't just start watching a video. You have to prime your mind like a ninja in order to prepare your mind for maximal absorption. It's like warming up your body for a game of soccer or stretching before a workout. You're making your learning goals clear before watching it. First, eliminate your distractions. Find a comfortable place to watch the videos where the sound or people won't distract you. Put on headphones and face the wall if you need, so only the video is the thing on your mind. Have your notebook, writing utensils, coffee, or focus snacks ready. Put your phone away, close all other tabs, and turn off notifications. Now, using the title, thumbnail image, and video description elements, create investigation questions. For example, if you're learning about how viruses work, you might be thinking things like, hmm, I've always wondered, what do they look like? How long do they live? How deadly can they be? How do I protect myself from viruses? And so on. Sometimes your teacher or boss might give you a list of questions or learning goals to guide you. Think about why you care about the topic and how it might help you in life. When you find a relevant reason and way you can apply this immediately to your life or to help somebody else, the information will stick to your mind. Maybe your sister is sick with a viral infection and you want to help her get better so this video might contain answers. Remember to write all these questions down. The more excited and curious you are about your questions, the more your brain, especially an area called the reticular activating system, will be scanning the video for answers. You'll also release brain chemicals like acetylcholine, dopamine, and norepinephrine, which strengthen your attention and learning. All this creates what some scientists call a learning vortex, where without even trying, your brain sucks all this information into long-term memory. Step 2. Enjoy the video. Just watch with enjoyment and curiosity, searching for the answers to your questions while learning new information that you didn't know before. You're not writing down notes or trying to memorize anything at all. Trying to remember or writing down notes adds mental stress that will affect your ability to absorb what you're learning. In this stage, you're having fun and being a curious learner. Step 3. Active Recall When you're done, stop the video and answer these questions in your mind. Or even better, write them down, but always in your own words. What were the key points of the video? What personal questions did I answer? What did I already know? What was new to me? What was I confused about? What new questions do I have? How can I use this information in my life? This process of quizzing yourself helps you memorize it. Step 4. Rewatch for details. This time you're rewatching it to answer your questions, clarify confusion, and catch any missing details. You can play, pause, and rewind as much as you need. Notice images, diagrams, charts, and how they're used to explain things. Step 5. Research. If you're still stuck, which happens often, don't worry, it's not your fault. Sometimes it might be several words you're stuck on, so look them up and find a definition that makes sense to you. Sometimes you need different explanations that make more sense. I like to find the shortest video on the topic that has a good number of views that also looks like it'll be fun to watch and easy to understand, maybe like an animation or whiteboard style video. Watch several videos or as needed until everything makes sense. Many times we learn better when we see information presented in another way that we can relate to. You can also ask a friend, members of a discussion group if you're taking an online class, or an instructor any of your questions. Step 6. Summarize, create, and active recall. You're almost there. You wanted to master learning videos, right? 
Well, A students take things to the next level, and that's who you are or will be with this method. After answering all your questions, clarifying your confusion, and understanding the main idea and key points of the video, create a 50-word summary in your own words, as if you're explaining it to a child. Einstein once said, if you can't explain it to a six-year-old, you don't understand it yourself. Then use higher order thinking, which pushes your mind to understand information at a deeper level. You might draw an image to help you remember it, or create diagrams to compare and contrast, show a process, depict cause and effect relationships, and so on. Then write why this information is important and how you can use it in your life or to help others. Take it one step further and write down when and how you're going to use it. Then quiz yourself on what the video was about. Turn your notes over to a blank page and write your main summary explanation as best as you can recall from memory. Include any key details, redraw the picture, and then explain how you're going to use it. If you make a mistake or forget something, that's okay. Go back to your notes or even the video if you have to. Step 7. Teach someone. Take it one step further by teaching a friend, sibling, partner, or parent what you just learned and why it matters. Studies show that when we learn something to teach someone else, we learn it better and remember it longer than if we were just learning it for ourselves or for a test. Step 8. Apply a memory technique. Create a mnemonic for the key points in the video or apply a memory technique that memory champions use if you have many details to remember. I explain that method in this other video. Now you can apply all eight steps and have a bulletproof memory of the information, or at the very least, apply the first six steps. Remember that YouTube has some cool features to support your learning. You can turn on the auto captions so you can read what the speaker is saying, adjust the speed to make it faster or slower, pick a different language for the subtitles like Spanish, for example, if you're strengthening your English, or lower the quality of the video if you're having internet issues. So what tip helped the most? Or what's your favorite hack for mastering learning videos? Drop a comment below and like, subscribe, and share if this video was helpful.